From calling it quits after nearly 20 years of marriage to having an alleged affair with their tenant, here's the truth behind Christine Baumgartner, the crazy ex-wife. Tinseltown is never kind to celebrities getting divorced. But in Kevin Costner's ex-wife's case, I'll go out on a limb and say she's not helping her case either. Folks, she's at the center of a new scandal every day, and things don't seem to be getting better anytime soon. Meanwhile, the Yellowstone star's rep released a statement confirming that circumstances beyond the actor's control led to the divorce. That's gotta be hard, after all. Costner and Baumgartner tied the knot back in 2004 and were together for a total of 24 years. That's not all. They even have three children together, 15-year-old Caden, 14-year-old Hayes, and a 12-year-old girl, Grace Avery. This just complicates the situation even more. Believe me when I say this, guys, no one saw the separation coming. I mean, just back in January 2023, Kevin couldn't help but gush over his wife. The two were supposed to attend the Golden Globes together, but a flooded freeway kept them at home. So Christine went ahead and got him some balloons, you know, to feel like a part of the ceremony as they watched it from home. That was a bit sad, though, because the actor was looking forward to walking the red carpet with his wife, and even shared that she had a beautiful dress picked out for the occasion. Even in February 2023, the actor fondly recalled how his bae sensed he was a bit low when he won the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Drama Series while they were stuck at home. You know what she did? Christine encouraged the whole fam to stand up and cheer for Kevin. Adorable? I know, but things went a little south after that. Before we get into the complications, let's take a trip down memory lane. The pair first met on a golf course when Kevin was rehearsing for his film, Tin Cup. At the time, he was still with his first wife, Cindy, so nothing happened. They met once again in 1998, and sparks flew immediately. The couple started dating and decided to tie the knot in 2004. But get this, they actually split up a year before that. Just because Kevin didn't feel he could be an effective father, we all know who won that argument. Coming to their divorce saga, the two left Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in the dust. Yep, things have gone that crazy. It's clear that Baumgartner isn't willing to take any chances by hiring incompetent lawyers. Instead, she's found a perfect solution for her little problem, make him pay for her attorneys. You heard that right, folks. Turns out Christine went on a lawyer shopping spree with her ex-husband's credit card. And can you guess how much she spent? $95,000? That's quite a lot, isn't it? Costner revealed all this in court documents, claiming that Christine never asked him and that he didn't have any prior knowledge regarding all this. Yikes, apparently. With the money she spent, Christine hired a bunch of attorneys and a forensic accountant. Now, Kevin's net worth might be a staggering $250 million, but he's still not okay with Baumgartner spending any more of his money. And besides, she's already made quite a big dent in her husband's bank balance now, hasn't she? Here's another kicker. The two had signed a prenup. The drama just keeps on piling up, right? So, Christine spending such a huge amount directly violates their agreement, and Costner is hoping to hold her accountable for it. But his ex-wife has something else in her mind. She wants to make their premarital agreement public. Of course, the actor wants anything but that. Apparently, he's concerned that it's gonna do some irreparable harm, you know, like unwanted media attention, making him vulnerable to fraudsters and burglars, the works. Mini red flag, anyone. But I guess we could cut him some slack after all his first divorce with Cindy Silva is still one of the most expensive divorces in Hollywood. The gal took $80 million. So can you blame the guy for still having a little trauma? But there's more to the whole prenup debacle. Baumgartner is in no mood to leave their $145 million residence in California, even though their agreement clearly states that after filing for divorce, she must leave the house in 30 days. And that day, my friends, has come and gone, but Christine is remaining put. The agreement also states that a $1.2 million property will be provided to her with the payment of her mortgage, insurance, and taxes all taken care of for a year. Clearly, the woman thinks she can get a better deal, so she's holding on. I mean, if she wasn't sure, then Baumgartner wouldn't have started the divorce proceedings in the first place. As I said before, this was a real shocker and had quite a scandal attached to it. Did you know that Christine gave her husband an ultimatum? Yep, it was either Yellowstone or their marriage. 
I'm guessing Costner decided to go with neither of the options, but that's a topic for some other day. Coming back to their divorce, Kevin's career became a huge wedge for the couple. Baumgartner wanted them to spend more time together with their kids, but with his busy schedule, the actor found it tough. Apparently, Christine gave him six months to decide, because according to an insider, it created a big hole in their family life. I guess there's no way for them to reconcile now. In fact, they're already discussing topics such as child support and custody. The pair is looking for joint custody, which has got to be hard on its own. But then Baumgartner went ahead and demanded $248,000 in child support. The ex-wife thinks it's a reasonable demand, considering Kevin makes over $1.5 million a month. The OG amount offered by the actor was $30,000, but compared to their old lifestyle, that's peanuts. Christine is adamant about making sure their kids continue to live a fancy lifestyle, with private planes, elite schools, fancy vacations, membership to country clubs, private chefs, you know, those sort of things. So to ensure that, the mother of three wants her ex to pay for their school tuition, extracurricular activities, sports, and of course, health care. I bet you're wondering why can't she support them herself? And, well, the answer is simple. It's because she's no Kevin Costner. Last year, the actor earned over $19.5 million, $11.9 million of which went towards their family expenses. There's no way she'll be able to keep up with that. Besides, Christine used to be a handbag designer, a job she left to raise their children and look after the household and staff. Apparently, she's only got $50,000 to her name. Despite that, the 49-year-old is not accepting any money from her husband right now, even though he's offered her $1.4 million. Christine thinks that this is all a ploy to make her leave the house without a child support act in place. And get this, that's not all for Baumgartner's grievances with her husband. She's super pissed at how he decided to break the news to their kids. Now, divorce is a sensitive matter, especially when you're telling the kids, so you tend to have the whole family together to ensure them you'll always be there for each other. But Costner went for the opposite approach. He didn't take Christine in confidence and got it over with on a 10-minute Zoom call from his hotel room in Las Vegas. Yikes, that's bad. I gotta side with the lady here. There were a million different ways this situation could have been handled. Did you know that either way? Kevin was coming back home in five days. So why not gather the entire family and tell them together a little later? And if he wanted to tell them quickly, the actor could have easily hoped on his private plane and told them in person. Maybe he did that because he was furious at his ex-wife, which probably led to this approach. And everything I've mentioned till now gives him a good enough reason to get mad at her, but folks, I left the juiciest scandal for last. Apparently, Christine was having an alleged affair with their tenant, Daniel Starr. Although both parties have denied any claims, there are still enough rumors to get the mill going. According to the reports, the two spent a lot of time together. Yeah, that's bound to get the folks talking. What's surprising here is that everyone thought it'd be Kevin at the center of a cheating scandal. But they reversed the roles with this one, right? Anyway, no cheating allegations have yet entered their divorce proceedings, so this is probably one of those things the couple and their lawyers have yet to figure out. On that note, from having an alleged affair with their tenant to calling it quits after nearly 20 years of marriage, that's the truth behind Christine Baumgartner, the crazy ex-wife. <laughs>